In 2016, Dropbox was hacked into. In 2014, Apple's iCloud was fapped into. Heck, even the turtle cloud was infiltrated by a dirty old man. So it's time that we took back some control. Introducing the file gear, your own personal cloud. Oh, it's, it's floating away, it's, it's my cloud. Come back, come back, you silly cloud. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker and welcome to another Honest Unboxing video. Today, we're having a look at the File Gear One Plus, the personal cloud data storage organizer thingy majiggy. Before we get into it, if this looks a little bit familiar, it's because last year we actually covered the prototype. Uh, except since this, the company had a very successful Kickstarter, over double the money they were going for, probably because of me. And now this is what we have, the actual real fully fledged production model, which is great because the prototype was 3D printed and it smelt like it. So let's find out if it's, if it's, if it's any good. So first things first, what the heck does this thing do? Well, very basically how it works is you plug some storage into this, either a hard drive or a thumb drive. And actually with this model, you can plug a little uh, internal drive in this little butt there. I'll show you that in a sec, very fancy. And then you plug another end of this into your internet, either through ethernet or Wi-Fi. And once it's connected like that, you can then access the storage on this thing wherever you are in the world. So for example, we have our file gear here set up with the internet and let's say I load it up maybe with the, you know, just a particular photo that I always want to have access to and maybe a track from my best hits album right there. Yeah. Did you know there's actually another Sam Tucker who thinks they're uh, pretty good at music just because they featured on The Voice. But let's remember, you didn't win The Voice, did you? Hmm, that's right, I didn't win my game show either. So now that these are on the file gear, I can access those photos and tunes whether I'm at home, at work, or in Tonga. And best of all, this doesn't just work this way, this works the other way as well. So let's just say in some magical land, I somehow take a even more attractive photo while in Tonga. Well, I can upload that through my phone, through the internet, and upload that straight to the file gear. So now this photo is available everywhere. It's pretty much iCloud, except instead of gigabytes, you get terabytes. And I've said it before, but just imagine how much Apple would charge for a multi-terabyte iPhone. Forget about it. There's a bunch of other great features, but one more I'll just show you is that I can decide if I want to share some of these files with, with other people, you know, with family or friends or just, just, just anyone. If I wanted to uh, send them my new hot, sexy pic, well, I can just send them a link uh, through email. I can email them a link so they can access the files. It's all encrypted, all that data transfer is encrypted. I can even set the link to expire or a password on it just in case there's anyone else who's uh, snooping on our communications and we don't want them to know. All right, well, let me show you how easy it is to freaking set up. All right, so I'm a plus model. Uh, I mean, I got the plus model. I'm not fat, shut up. But that means that this one actually comes with this uh, base attached to it where you can put in an internal 2.5 inch hard drive. Look, this is pretty technical to install. I got a little one terabyte one to uh, put in right here. So pay attention, it can be tricky. What you have to do is push it. Just rewind if you need to see that again. Screw it back in, let the cat in, all right. There's just the cat butt here, don't mind that. Now we just plug in the power and of course the internet and take a cold shower. You've had a bit of a workout. Set up a free account on file gear and log in and it's already detected the file gear on the network. Oh, oh yes, uh, if you do install a brand new hard drive, you may need to format it. First, of course, there are three options. One, if you're just using Windows, one, if you're just using Mac, uh, but the recommended one works with both, called X-Fat. And that's actually what I like to call myself. I'm a recovering fat. Mm, still recovering. Importing files is as easy as drag and drop. 
and the file gear actually sorts through everything automatically based on the location, time, date, all that sort of stuff, which is especially handy if you've got an old hard drive that you have no idea what's on there. Well, you just plug it in. It'll ask you whether you want to use it as storage or whether to import, let's import. And the file gear will sift through all that and maybe find some photos that you'd forgotten about and kind of wish had stayed forgotten. I'm not sending that one to Miley. By the way, photographers, you'll love this one because the file gear works with all of your raw photo types and you can import them directly from your SD card with the included dongle. Uh, it does kind of plug in the wrong way, but hey, at least they included a dongle, unlike some other companies I know about. You don't have to worry about doubling up like my chin files because you can just turn on deduplicate on the device. So if there's files that are exactly the same on the byte level, it'll uh, delete the copies so you can free up some space. Or if you want a couple extra copies for a little bit of safety, you can put on replicate. I'm not sure what happens if you turn both those settings on. It's one of life's great paradoxes. You get like an unmovable object and an unstoppable JPEG. What's gonna happen? Just don't do it. And music buffs who might have a big MP3 collection or a bunch of CDs you wanna import on this thing. Well, the app, the free app that comes with it has a media player, not just for photos and video, but for music as well. And you can stream that music with the quality high bit rate. And you know what? On that note, I've actually crafted a brand new mini classic uh, little music video that uh, I want to play for you right now. It really sums things up. Foggy, I've learned sometimes, I've learned sometimes to file gear. I got PDFs, JPEGs and PNGs, MP4s and MP3s. I share them all with my lead. Well, I'm in Tonga, streaming this song, annoying the other Sam Tucker, cause people think he's me. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, mate. People probably are looking for your love songs and uh, they find one of mine about Bitcoin or a phone notch or this online storage device, but. Hey, don't hate the gear, love the gear. It's like Richard gear. It just works. Not bad to look at. Probably about the same price now. Sorry, Richard. And there it is, the file gear. I think this is really great for people who have just a buttload of photos or music or really any files that you just want to bring together into one place like this. Especially if you have a smartphone. Me, I'm actually Still technically on the Blackberry. There's no Blackberry. Where's the Blackberry app file gear? What? Is it because we're only 0.2% of the market? Hey, hashtag Blackberry lives matter. But I, I actually like this on another aspect, just as a bit of a thing. I'm a little bit paranoid. And you know, you upload your files to Google and they make a lot of their money through advertising. Are they gonna have their algorithms sift through stuff and, and sell things? I don't know. I'm a little bit paranoid that way. But as a small business person who uh, likes to share around big video files just as part of business, it also works out there. So, you know, if this if this tickles tickles your giblets a little bit, if you're a little bit interested, check out the link in the description for more information. And what the heck, here's a deal. You get 10% off with the code word SAMTIME. They've also got a smaller model available as well that just doesn't have the base on it for the internal drive if you want to save a couple of extra bucks. But, uh... Till next time, this is Sam Tucker saying, stay funky everyone. Sam Time signing off. Subscribe today. Funk it down. You're done. You're just, you're just out there in the world, riding on your own personal cloud like some sort of super saiyan. Then let in the cat. There we are, you're gonna help. Good boy. There's just the cat butt here, don't mind that. <laughs>